During the Obama-Biden administration, we put in place tough requirements on banks like Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, including the Dodd-Frank law to make sure that the crisis we saw in 2008 would not happen again. Unfortunately, the last administration rolled back some of these requirements. Unfortunately, uh, Biden wouldn't answer any questions about the second biggest bank failure in American history. He just said somewhere else to be. See you in California. Mr. President, what do you know right now about why this happened? And can you assure Americans that there won't be a ripple effect? Do you expect other banks to fail, Mr. President? Should all depositors be protected at all banks? So is this the only bank that Biden's going to bail out? Or is this just one of many? Well, don't worry. The Treasury Secretary, who's covering up Hunter Biden's sketchy bank wires, says everything's fine. What I do want to do yeah. is emphasize that the American banking system is really um, safe and well capitalized. It's resilient. Just like inflation's under control, lady, I don't trust her. It's the same people every time. The bankers, the green donors, the Barney Franks, the Joe Bidens, they get rich, they get bonuses, they dump the stocks, everybody gets bailed out, no one goes to prison. They tell us everything's fine. They redefine the word bailout and then tell you it's the greatest economy in American history. Just ignore the bank failures and the record inflation. I don't know about you, I'm not feeling too comfortable right now, are you? Let's bring in Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey. All right, Congressman, what's really going on here? <laughs> well, let's don't downplay the Federal Reserve's role in this. They started out as Santa Claus by bringing us almost zero interest rates, which pushed people out of safe investments and into things like venture capital. And then they became the arsonists during COVID because when Congress wanted to spend all that money and nobody would loan it to us, the Fed just created $5 trillion out of thin air, and that's what caused inflation. But don't worry, they came in as the firefighters to put the fire out by dousing it with high interest rates. And now they're like the triage doctor trying to uh, stabilize the patients, which are the banks. You know, by, and and the, you know, to your point in your monologue about Biden saying, oh, well, this won't cost the taxpayers anything, I'll rate that as... Mostly not true if things get worse, because what they're doing is they insured everybody under $250,000, all the depositors, and, and premiums were paid into that account. But what Biden is going to do right now at the FDIC, they're going to take all of that money they've saved up to protect the $250,000 depositors and spend it on the $10 million depositors. They're basically going all in on the first two or three banks. And they're saying, trust us, this is better than just making the small guys whole. So, Congressman, are people's deposits safe in the United States of America? Is there going to be a bank run? Should we be nervous? I'm not taking my money out of the bank, and I don't think other people should either. What will happen is there's a Fed backstop to all of this. Again, like, you know, the Fed's played all of these roles. The, the, um, the other program that they've announced is that the Fed will loan money to banks who are in trouble. The banks who bought Treasury notes that, and bonds that have gone to 80% of their value, the Fed says, we'll give you a credit for the 20% that's worthless. We'll, get, we'll credit that for a loan. So you can use the worthless part of the bond as collateral for a loan from the Fed. There will be plenty of money. The problem is, I think yeah. they're going to print it. I don't it even eventually. understand a word you just said, but I do hear something that was said on a call with you today. Someone said you're not even allowed to talk about bank rums. Is that true? Yeah, there was a senator, uh, I believe it was Mark Kelly, who asked if we had a good program to censor this stuff at social media, to censor information so there wouldn't be a run on the banks. The problem is he didn't say he wanted to censor false information or foreign information. He kind of left it open-ended. And um, I mean, that's chilling to me. That's their go-to now for the Democrats. Let's censor our way to a solution. Yeah, censor and print. That's basically the deal. Congressman Massey, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Jesse.